Welcome to Das Geek. I have received a lot of requests to take a look at this browser, Vivaldi. Vivaldi, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the developers of Vivaldi are individuals who apparently used to work on Opera back in the day, back when it had the gestures and everybody was kind of on the Opera bandwagon, or a lot more people were on the Opera bandwagon back then. And then it's Popularity kind of died down and Chrome and others took uh, the big place. But you all know about the video that I've done. If not, I'll link it up above where I reviewed the best top browsers out there. And Opera really came out number one. And there were a couple reasons for that. Number one was the security of Opera having the VPN proxy built in, the developer version. But there's been some problems there because the developer version, even back when I did that video, it's still in, only in the developer version, and it seems like a lot of people are having problems in my comment section. Some are fine, and they're getting it set up. Others are having issues, so I don't know if it's region locked or not. So it's still in the developer version. It's not in the regular Opera version, and individuals still don't have an option to activate it. It says coming soon. So that's not really bringing it to the mass population. I really hope they would have pushed that faster and got that out to a lot more people, but hopefully they're working out the bugs. And then the resources and speed of Opera beat out the other browsers as well. So I got a lot of comments in that video saying, hey, you need to check out this browser. I absolutely love it. You know, I even got a lot of colorful metaphors being used against Opera and saying you need to check out Vivaldi. So here I am for you doing a review of Vivaldi. So I've used this for over a week because I wanted to make sure it was a very fair review. I was very familiar with Chrome, Opera, Edge. I was not familiar with this browser really at all. Um, it just had never come onto my radar. So I went through and I did a lot of the same tests that you'll see in the video that I linked above on the other browsers as far as doing video streaming, checking out Twitch, Netflix, Opera, or Opera, uh, Netflix, uh, Hulu, all of those right out of the box to see if everything was working or if I had to do any type of setup, how the user interface was, how the security was in the system, etc. And here is browser scope, one of the security tests that I did in that video. So I wanted to replicate that here and you can see the only thing that failed is the two static HTML, which is also what Opera failed on and Chrome failed on. The others had other items that they failed that were a lot more dangerous. So from a security standpoint, tell you right off the bat, definitely up there with the best. As far as working with Netflix, Amazon Prime, and all of your key websites right out of the box, no configurations needed, it gets an A+. Very clean interface, very simple interface. I'm not blown away by it, but that's definitely a user preference, and I gave no points in my other videos for user interface because it's really up to you what you enjoy, uh, but there's nothing from the interface that I felt takes away uh, from a browser experience. It's very clean, it's very customizable, it has a lot of neat features, the gesturing options in there are very easy to set up, very simple instructions, you can set up your own, I'll show you that here a little bit in a second. Extensions, so this is based on Chromium, so the folks at Opera who originally worked on it left, apparently came up and decided to come up with this browser, based it off the Chromium, so my Linux users out there, you'll be familiar with that, very, very powerful uh, browser uh, API or GUI, if you will, that they used and customized to set this up. So that means you can use all of Chrome's extensions in there. So you can go right to the Chrome store and add their extension. You can see Adblocker Plus, My Dash Lane, anything that you want that you utilize from Chrome, you can go in there and install here. So there's a huge advantage there from an extension standpoint that you can utilize all of those extensions because Chrome certainly has one of the best um, gallery of extensions out there. I think a lot of people write for it. Uh, proxy, proxy server here is easy to set up, although it doesn't come with one. So I use PF VPN, which runs outside of the browser. But if you had one that you needed to set up the proxy within the actual tool itself would be very, very easy to set up and uh, compatible. And you do have a private browsing window option, uh, although I would love to have seen in the settings an option to set that up right away. So you can set up here, new private window, and it will open that. And of course, this isn't real privacy. This is just really, I don't want my wife to see where I was, or my husband for that matter, to see where I was browsing. Um, but 
it's nice that they have that option. I wish it came as kind of a standard setup so that you can have it always go right to and, and like Opera and Chrome and others, you can do some um, changes and add some code in to your start page so that it does automatically kick this off. But I wish it was just an option you could check mark to say, hey, always go into private browsing mode right off the bat. So with that said, let's take a look at some of these options here. So your standard new tab, new window, new private, open file, import bookmark and settings. I did have an issue importing from Opera Developer, uh, which is an option in the import into the bookmarks here in Vivaldi. I don't know why it became a problem, but it would just hang up. Um, so minor bug again, I might be the only one out there who was going from Opera to uh, Vivaldi, but it didn't seem to want to export those. So I had to move them over manually. Not, not a big, big deal, but, uh, just one of the bugs I ran into, uh, you've got your typical edits here, your views. So you can have your bookmarks panel, downloads panel, notes, zoom in, zoom out. You've got your tools, your quick commands, your extensions, your plugins, your clearing, your private data, um, your window going full screen. And of course a nice help there. And I did see a very nice community supporting this browser. So Definitely worth checking out if you're having any issues. So going into the settings here, um, default browsers, you can set as your default. You can set your home page up. I use DuckDuckGo because it doesn't track you. Really recommend you utilize DuckDuckGo uh, so you're not having everything you do on the internet tracked and saved uh, for metadata like Google and others do. Your window appearance, you can see the options here, show user interface, show animations. You can turn all of that off. This is what a lot of people like about Vivaldi is the amount of options you have for customization. You've got your themes here and you can edit any of those individual themes, but I chose a standard one. You can also edit your start page here and you have a lot of options to change that up. Tabs, you've got all kinds of customization where you want your tab bar, the position, uh, what pages you want to come up when you open new tabs, etc. You've got panel options here and this is the panel or uh, bookmarks or anything or downloads, you can just go right there to it. So that's a nice little setup. Address bar, here's more setup on your bookmarks. Quick commands, here's your keyboard options. So you can sh set up any keyboard shortcuts you want. So if you don't like the way, you know, new window is control N, you want it control W, you can go change that here and set up the, the uh, shortcuts so they work for you. Here's your gestures. So to open a new tab, you just hold down your right mouse button and perform the gesture. So what this is saying is it will open a new tab and you can see it's on its way to opening a new tab here. So that's how that works. Let me just show that again. There you go, duck, duck, go. So there you go, that's for the gesturing. So bringing gestures back like the original Chrome uh, was very well known for. And we've got your search options here, so you can set these. I like that a lot. I can set my search engine to mainly be DuckDuckGo, Wikipedia, and then Google. You've got your privacy options. There's lots of great privacy options in here. You can tell it, I actually had to change this for a banking site because I had blocked third-party cookies on, which blocked this bank thing, and that's a whole nother story. But anyway, so generally, you know, block third-party cookies. I don't want it to save my web page passwords. I use a app, different application for that. Um, and then you can go in here and set any of these individual items based on what you want. Uh, if you want them to track you, if you want to send diagnostics, et cetera, or not, you can set your download folder, your web pages for smooth scrolling, focus forms. I mean, you can change everything on here and that's really what this browser is about. So where would I rank Vivaldi against Opera in them? Well, uh, as far as resources and things go, when I did the test, it was almost exactly on par with the resources used in Opera Developer. Uh, it may have come in a little less. I didn't go and calculate it all, but for the most part, they were very, very close to each other. So for all those who wanted me to check it out, I can tell you that I really like this browser a lot. I found it very fast. I loved the customization of it. I loved all the security options. I love that out of the box, you can pretty much do anything with it. I wish they would go with the kind of free proxy offering just because I want more people to know about VPNs and proxies, although the Opera one's more of a proxy. It's not really a VPN, but they're calling a VPN, and that's a whole other story. But anyways, it provides a different layer of security. Um, but certainly in my case, I use Pia VPN anyways, which kind of creates that VPN for my entire computer. Anything leaving my computer 
uh, then gets has goes through that VPN. So in that case, something like this is even better for me because I'm not going to turn on both Opera's VPN and my Pia VPN uh, on at the same time. And I love that everything works right out of the box on this since it's based off of Chromium. So I have to tell you, this is a huge competitor for the top browser out there. It's definitely something I've installed on all my sh machines in the last week. I've really come to kind of love it. Uh, again, the interface doesn't blow me away, but there's something that draws me to it. Maybe it's the simplicity of it. Uh, maybe it's the, the, the fact that I can really do anything that I want with it. But I can tell you one of the big reasons why I'm pushing for it over Opera is I received an email from Opera saying that any of the um, basically their security had been compromised and the individual that had compromised it, Opera was asking to change the password for their browser sync. So when you sync, you know, when you have Opera on your phone, you have it on different computers, you could sync so that your bookmark synced up. If you had your browser set up so you could save passwords that synced up. Now they said it was all encrypted, what the hackers will actually be able to get, who knows? But that's a major problem that they've kind of had that security issue. Anyone technically can be compromised. Um, so, you know, wait it the way you want. But the fact that I got that email the week I was testing this made me really think, wow, maybe I, I need to find something different, maybe a little less popular um, than the Opera platform out there. So they, they did have that compromise. Vivaldi hasn't had a compromise that I could find yet. That doesn't mean nobody could. Certainly any browsers possible but i think it certainly tells you you want to turn off a lot of those features like bookmark syncing and everything else it sound really great they seem like wonderful convenient features but they could end up biting you uh, as hackers kind of get more and more sophisticated in what they're doing here so in any case i give it a five all day long out of five i mean this is a really good browser they've done a fantastic job i've had no technical issues outside the bookmarks import i don't know what else to say about it it's really really good the team here who created this i mean congratulations you have created one hell of a product here and i believe if we go to their site maybe it's vivaldi.com there you go so check out their site browser for our friends they have um, some information here on the team so these are all the geniuses that came together all these beautiful men and women uh, that work on this fantastic product and they certainly deserve a huge applause for coming out with this browser. I hope it gains popularity. I hope you go download it and check it out. Um, if I was to say, does it take Opera? Uh, if they can do something with the proxy to compete on that security side of it, I would really be interested uh, in, in them pushing towards that. I, I want more browsers to push the proxy VPN service because I think it's very important for people's privacy. So that would be the thing that I would say would throw it over the top. If Opera fully pushes out that proxy to everybody, it's going to be a really close race. But certainly Vivaldi is worth a download. Certainly, I think it's better than Edge, Chrome, i.e. those other browsers out there for a lot of reasons. Uh, number one being a lot of the privacy uh, issues that I have with Google and Chrome. So in any case, that's my take on it. I love it. Leave your comments below. I know some of you have been waiting for this video. I've gotten hit up on Twitter. I've gotten hit up on uh, YouTube. I've gotten lots of colorful comments about wanting Vivaldi. So there's a lot of passion behind this, and I could see why. It's a really good product created by a really awesome team. So I can't wait to see some of the new features. In fact, they just released a patch for it this week, so they're actively updating this browser, which is fantastic. So get out there, take a look. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until then... Get out there and fill your brains. Don't get too far. Don't get like the video.